The spear is an augmented arm. The hammer is an augmented fist. Humanity is at an exciting stage of its evolution. What was science fiction is now becoming fact, and it's happening faster than most of us expected. And what is human augmentation? How will technology change our minds and bodies? And why does it matter? We're entering a new time where we're able to use data, machine learning, and it's going to go from being a more deeply symbiotic relationship to starting to blur the lines of what it means to be human. I believe that human augmentation is something that will help us in the future. The development of technology will help us create a better world for more people. Education is an augmentation of our brain. We're really starting to use and make our brain plastic in ways that it wouldn't have had if it hadn't been exposed to education. For spaceflight, I think a lot of what we do when it comes to augmentation is about survival. The only way we're going to be able to explore further in our own solar system or this interstellar kind of travel that we talk about is to not be in the same body that we're in. So do you become this AI where your consciousness is still there, but your physical form is not? Computers become more and more a part of the human being. It's just an extension of ourselves. We want to retain ownership of the technology. We do not want to become slaves of the technology we are creating. I'll tell you what I would love to dream of. Little nanobots that are going through us and they're just checking out on all our telomeres all through our body in real time so we can enjoy greater health. If you take someone from 1950 and you took them into 2019, they would be like, the world has gone completely crazy. The machines have taken over. You might get societies where people or machines make decisions about what is acceptable, who's going to survive. There's some big ethical questions about what's acceptable or not. But let's not fool ourselves and say it's not already happening. It's already here.